Hello there. In this lesson, I will show you how to build a pivot chart. In the previous one, I have built the pivot table and I have explained why they are such a useful uh, tool in Excel and they are very quick to make and uh, make the work quite efficient. Pivot charts, they serve the same purpose. You can build the pivot charts on the pivot table that you have or you can build the pivot tables and pivot charts directly on a data set. And I will show you how to do that. Like when you select the pivot table, when you are in the pivot table that you want to use uh, for a pivot chart, then you can, uh, there are several options to do that. Either you will go to the insert tab, insert, and then go to the pivot chart and here you have the pivot chart and the second option is not active because we have the uh, pivot table already but if you want to if we didn't have it and we wanted to build it directly from the data set then i would be in this data set i would go to insert pivot chart and then this option is uh, active click on that new worksheet and then we have the pivot table um, window and the pivot chart window. But if you have already the pivot chart made and you have the fields in the correct areas, then use this one as a source for the pivot table. When you, you have the pivot table, you have the pivot table analyze tab and you can build the pivot table from directly, pivot chart directly from here as well. Click on the pivot chart and um, the window will open up and you can make all the selections which um, type of chart you want to use and uh, it's quite important as well to choose the correct chart type but you can always make changes uh, later like you can choose uh, go for for the column chart for example click on ok we have it here then you can make changes and if you think that this type of chart is not analyzing the data and showing uh, the data how you want to see that you can always change the chart type here i have a uh, different types of assortment products by columns and actually it does not really look beautiful all these many columns and the this area is quite uh, small let's um, start from the title well you can um, type the title directly here but it's excel so it it can work with the expressions as well with formulas so if i click equal and let's choose this one as a title then i have it you can change the locations of the title move it up then we have more uh, space for the bars let's make it bigger like this and uh, from this um, chart elements you can uh, select the options that you want to see or you don't want to see like axis title we want to have if you want to see the labels sometimes it's a good practice to see the labels grid lines mainly i don't want to see them let's uh, remove it and if you want to see the legend or if you don't want to see that i don't want to see the legend because i have only one contribution here so i will keep it like that and in case if you want to make more changes like if you want to see like data labels and we need the more options then we will click there and here we have all the formatting uh, labels possibilities you can go to the same window when you are um, in the pivot chart and you will right click and then you, you can choose the pivot chart options and pivot chart uh, area and you will get there and you can make all type of changes here like change the width of the columns um, or change the borders change the colors and just uh, give it a shape that you want to see 
and let's remove these tape labels now because it makes it too messy and let's increase the chart for example once it, this is a, a pivot uh, chart and just uh, not just the excel chart this comes with the filtering options but mainly we don't really want to see them in the charts so we want to remove them and let's see how to do that like uh, like pivot tables when we have them we have um, tabs there dedicated to pivot tables the same happens when we have the pivot chart we have the pivot chart analyze here and we have design and actually, actually for the pivot chart we have three new tabs let's check what is there pivot chart analyze this is slicers i will show in the next uh, session refresh like the pivot chart it's working in the same way if you want to change data sort it is working in the same way like the pivot chart and if you want to move it also field list and so on actually this one it is like similar for the pivot charts design is different of course let's select data and um, you can change the chart uh, type from here wanted line or column or all the other options if you want to move it and then we have the formatting option if you want to make the color changes and so on and let's go to this uh, option and uh, i was talking about the filtering uh, buttons here that doesn't make the chart very attractive we can remove them and that is in the pivot chart analyze and fields buttons you can remove some of them or uh, you can uh, hide all of them actually in one click then it, it looks uh, much better without that well this chart now it looks uh, quite uh, easy to understand but um, these bars you can make them also a bit uh, different or give them a different color let's go to this one and if we reduce with this one this looks better so this is our pivot chart and it is quite easy to make and please keep in mind to choose the right uh, chart for the purpose like if you have the data that is uh, by months and by uh, where you have the times there, then it's, good. it's a good option to go for the line chart. When you have different products like here and we have to see uh, which product is the best, sell, best selling and the contribution is the high, then the bar chart is a good way to go. Also, uh, like... Uh, you can always make the normal charts from excel but the advantage of the pure charts is that you can put the slicer and you can connect them to all the charts and all the pure tables that you have and if you want to change the filtering the time for example they will all work together and that possibility we don't have if we are using the normal excel charts so that's why for, I like using the pivot charts if I work in Excel and if I want to visualize in Excel and not in the Power BI. And also when you remove all the filtering, they look quite clean. You don't even see that it's a pivot, pivot chart and not a normal Excel chart. So they are quite uh, easy to make and uh, quite an efficient way to visualize data in, in the reports. Well, I hope uh, this was uh, useful and uh, thanks for watching.